Hello viewers, I hope you all are doing well and in this video I will try to talk and discuss about uh, a short story, A Leaf in the Storm written by Lalithambika Antharjanam. So the short story A Leaf in the Storm, it is a horrible uh, tale or saga of a of a pregnant rap survivor during the partition of india in 1947 okay in addition to that this story is uh, also a partisan narrative in a women's perspective and it is written by Indian Malayalam author and social reformer Lalithambika Anthar Janam. She was born in 1909 and died in 1987. And she was immensely influenced by Mahatma Gandhi's phil philosophy and political ideology as well as social ref uh, reform movement conducted by Mahatma Gandhi and uh, she was also heavily influenced by social reform movements of uh, Nambudiri caste and Nambudiri caste they are native to Malayali Brahmin caste and they live in Kerala state of India and that uh, movement was led by Bhitti Bhatta Thiripattu it is a Malayalam name. Therefore, her works often limb the issues of nationalism, partisan, and circumstance of women in Indian family and society. Besides, uh, Antharjanam's over consist of over consist of nine volumes of short stories, six collections of poems, two books for children, and a novel. And her notable creations or works include uh, Adayathe Kathakkal, this is also in Malayalam language, then Takrana Talamura, then Kodam Katil Ninnu, and Agni Sikshi, uh, Agni Sakshi, etc. Uh, I may have pronounced uh, some words uh, not in a correct way and I am sorry for that because this is written in Malayalam language and if you are Malayalam then you can write the correct pronunciation in the comment back box then uh, as I have already talked that this short story is utterly based on partisan of India now we have to know little bit about the partition of India. Uh, this, the partisan story uh, of India is needless to say, but still I would like to add some something uh, for your comprehensive understanding of the text. We all know British India was divided into two parts, India and Pakistan in 1947 after the uh, Jinnah's demand and Muslim League's demand uh, and the uh, consent of British rule or the British Raj. And the partition uh, has also involved the division of two provinces, Bengal, which was known as East Bengal. There was only one Bengal before partition, okay? Uh, that was called Bengal. But after the partition, uh, West Bengal remained with India. On the other hand, East Bengal, it has gone to Pakistan. And it was divided on the basis of religion. The Hindu majority remained in India as West Bengal. On the other hand, East Bengal was gone to Pakistan as uh, Muslim majority locality. 
Mm-hmm. But later, uh, in I think in the 1971 uh, war, a new country emerged and that is known as Bangladesh today. Okay, Islamic Republic of Bangladesh, if I am not wrong. And uh, b- before partition of India, there was only one Punjab. But after the partition, one Punjab means the part of Punjab has gone to Pakistan and the part and the other part, it remain in India. Okay. Uh, India's Punjab, that is we all know. Um, now it, right now, the, the CM of Punjab may be Bhagwan uh, Singh or what I have forgotten. Okay, but uh, another Punjab that you will get in Pakistan there that is ruled by the Pakistan. Okay, and it was also divided on the basis of religion. The Sikh majority or the Hindu majority they they were with India and on the other hand, the Muslim majority, they went to Pakistan. So, uh, so this partition has created tragedy for, for the common people of, of our country at that time. And this partition ha- had also led the division of administrative st- structure like army. Army was also divided during the par- partition. One, uh, some means 50 50. 50 percent was distributed or uh, kept by India, and the 50 percent was given to Pakistan. And, uh, and it was same with the Navy, with the Air Force, Civil Service, Railway and Central Treasury. All things of unified India was distributed between these two newly emerged countries. Got it? And this partition was a horrific event of human tragedy that we all know. And it had witnessed brutal uh, sectarian or communal violence, organized crime and violence, genocide, rape, violence, religious or ethnic cleansing, and massive refugee crisis. The partition of India has uh, crea- created uh, so many unimaginable situations or circumstances at that time. Okay, that we all know. People were killing each other in the name of religion. But before the partition, all the people were, they were living in the same roof or in the same locality or in the same village. But when this decision was uh, given or taken by the political uh, administration, after that, this chaos was created okay and during that chaos communal violence organized crime and sectarian violence genocide rape religious or ethnic cleansing these all are or were rampant at that time and nearly uh, 2 million people were killed and more than 20 million were di- displaced. Okay. And the effect of partition is still visible in India and Pakistan's present day relationship. If we uh, analyze the present, con- the present condition of India and Pakistan, then we will see that India and Pakistan still, they are not very close friends. They are 
still they are an enemy they are still not trying to be together and uh, the main cause or one of the main causes of this uh, this situation uh, is is the legacy of partition okay and uh, during the uh, partition women were the women were the uh, brutal victim of uh, violence and of rape okay so this thing is uh, beautifully expounded or depicted by the writer in through this short story okay and it is estimated that more than 1 lakh women were kidnapped and raped during the partition of india and pakistan women were also the victim of systematic crimes violence forcible conversions they were forced to convert into hinduism sikhism and muslim okay and they they were also the victim of honor killings and women from different ethnic groups were targeted in the name of religion and creed uh, muslim were targeting hindu and sikh hindu were targeting muslim sikh were targeting muslim vice versa this kind of means anarchy was going on at that time and uh, no law no administration no armed personnel was there to control this uh, chaos at that time some deployed police personnel were uh, impotent before mob even some of them they had had even engaged in this anarchy and women were powerless and helpless before the naked rule of mob mob they were forced to jump into well and commit suicide to get rid of forced conversion slave girls and public uh, okay i have to turn this page public uh, rape stripping and procession and merciless killings beside the children were not even saved by saved they were kidnapped and uh, killed brut brutally so when uh, this incident was going on at that time not only women the children were also not left by the by the perpetrators okay furthermore uh, if we see the other part of partition then we will uh, get to know that some hindu christian anglo indian parsi and sikh communities they had strongly opposed the partition of india even many muslims too advocated united india including khan abdul ghafur khan okay and in this short story a leaf in the storm the protagonist is jyoti and during the partition jyoti was abducted and brutally raped while crossing the newly laid border between india and pakistan okay then she had stayed in a refugee camp for a long time without knowing uh, that she was brut brutally raped as she was unconscious after that rape in incident and she uh, from that incident she had been utterly tra traumatized and then she got to know that uh, she is now pregnant okay as she had already been both physically and mental, mentally assaulted 
and that trauma of physical violence and sexual violence that was still haunting her therefore she decided that she will not carry this baby or she will not um, deliver this baby to this new world okay but uh, though she had decided not to keep the rapist buster earlier but with the passage of time that notion of motherhood had compelled her to transform her mind okay then at last despite this bloody agony and pain from the partition of india she had made up her mind to keep the baby okay she had thought that okay now whatever done is done that cannot be undone so i would not like to uh, leave this baby or i would not like to kill this uh, innocent child okay that was her uh, thinking after the birth and it also depicts that some women are helpless before motherhood okay so uh, the agony and pain inflicted or experienced by the women during the partition is uh, not understandable by the men okay and it is also not comprehensible by the society or by any person of this planet despite sexual harassment despite physical abuse despite that trauma she had not given up the hope to live she had not given up the hope to beginning hope to begin a new life okay means uh, the writer through this short story has tried to depict that she is means she has uh, she has passed or she has she has survived this storm of partition and in that partition she is just the leaf but though she is just the leaves she is still trying to uh, fight with the society or fight with the life or fight with the luck she is not giving up okay and this title is uh, downrightly significant that's it thank you so much for watching the video bye bye